Okay, let's take a look at how to submit your assignment. Okay, so we got um, for perhaps um, in your assignment you have created a lot of HTML, maybe you got some images and so forth, and you want to submit them. Well, it'd be very tedious to submit them one at a time. And even if you did that, if you went to the images and submitted that one at a time, then I would have to rebuild your um, structure. And um, I'm not going to do that because I, I want you to learn. And uh, part of that is to learn how to zip up uh, files. For example, if I want to turn in these uh, five documents here, I'm going to I click the first one just once. Don't double click it. And I'm going to hold down my shift key and choose the fifth one. And that will highlight all five of those. Now I can right click on that and I can choose send to and compress zip folder. And it gives it a name here, document, head line. I can right click on that and choose rename. And I could say maybe that's project one. And this zip file is what you'd upload. Now you could double click on it here and it will show you what, what you put in there. So I just want to make sure you got it all. Now let's say I want a folder along with that. Maybe I want those four, five files. Well, you can click the first one. And then hold down your control key. And then click whatever files you want. I'm going to choose Pink Panther also. And then I'll choose the Images folder. And now I'll right click on that. And choose Send to Compress Zip Folder. And uh, this will let's say it's this is project two. And now, if I double click on that, I'm going to see that it's not only the files but also the folder. So you're just going to upload this one file um, instead of mul uploading each individual file. Now, th then you'll turn that in for the project. Now, don't uh, take the uh, all the projects for a chapter and zip them up all in one zip file and upload it. Um, do one for each project assigned. So if it's project 1, then have a project 1.zip. If you got project 10, have a project 10.zip. Now if it truly is just one file, you can just upload that one file. I'm fine with that. Now in case you're curious, um, if you got a, a zip file, how you extract it. And this is something you should know if you're going into computer science. Uh, let's copy this somewhere. So let me create a new folder. I'm going to right click and choose new folder and um, I'll call it testing. I'm going to take project 2 and drag it and drop it in testing. So now it's gone here. If I open up testing, I have this project 2. If you right click on it and then you choose extract all and then you click extract, then it, it went ahead and uh, expanded it for me, but if I go back to testing, I now have a folder called Project 2, same name as my zip file name, and within that I have all these, such that if I um, if I open up one of these, uh, then it'll work, just like uh, I did before. So again, being able to work with zip files is important, and different operating systems have different versions of this.